Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Control. Ugh. Picking up where we left off, we were at the Ashtray Maze. Which looks like just a bunch of nothing that we need to figure our way through. Now, if I had to guess, I'd say that we won't be able to make it through this unless we're allowed to make it through it. So, I mean, we'll just have to, uh... Well, I mean, it's not really much of a maze if I'm only given one path. And I'm right back at the beginning. Yeah, it's really not much of a... Yeah, and I have a feeling that no matter how many times I do this, I'm going to end up back here. Until I find the... Uh... Yeah. Oh, wow. Didn't even give me a chance this time. Until I find the ashtray and the cigarette that's smoking or whatever he was talking about on the hotline there. And then I'll be able to uh, advance. So until then, let's just head back. Because it very clearly seems to not be something that I can do right now. But that's fine. I don't know what the ashtray maze is, so I'm not too worried about having to deal with it right now. I climb over? I can't. Aha! Okay, we were in his office. I can hear shit again. And I don't think I should be able to. I mean, I've shot down quite a few of these. I don't know. Sometimes it's weird. Sometimes I can only see, like, one. Yeah, sometimes it sounds really loud, and then there's like one of them in the room I can pop, and then other times it seems to be like really quiet, even though there's like a bunch of them in the room. So I'm not entirely sure what determines how loud the talking is. Uh, also, I didn't look into the, uh, the abilities or anything, mainly because I, I didn't have an easy... Like, I didn't have a control point. Like, I would have had to have left to get to a control point to upgrade. So I just said, fuck it for now. I wish I'd get a thing on those. Because it's very weird, these new things that I found that just seem to... That just seem to pop up out of nowhere. And I don't have any way of, like, permanently dealing with. Oh, I see. And that unlocked parapsychology. Okay, so if I pop all of them fast enough, then they'll disappear for good. Alright, did not realize that. Mainly because we've seen those kinds of walls before, but they didn't have any way for me to get rid of them. Does make me curious, though, if some of the the other ones, like the one in the cafeteria, if I went back to it now, would they have those things so I could get rid of it? I don't know. I'm not going to go check, because I'd have to go all the way back to the executive sector. 
uh, but possibly the next time I'm in the executive sector, I will go and check. Okay, this is lab one. Oh my god, so much. Okay, well, I know that they're supposed to be in parapsychology, so I'm not going to worry about that. Clearly can't go through there because it has all the crud on the floor. So I'm not going to worry about that. So let's check lab one. And see what's down here. Oh, am I going to get anything? I got a button to press. Do I got any document? Ah, oh, here we go. This should explain something. Uh, did the song elicit any particular... Oh, answer questions within two minutes of listening. Quotes of the form my doctor's quiet. Did the song elicit any particular memories? If so, elaborate. Did you at any point feel a strong emotion? If so, what emotion? Did a clear image of a weapon appear in your mind during the song? If so, elaborate. Provide detailed description of your current surroundings as you see them. Have you ever heard the murmur of voices when no one is present? If so, what did they say? Do you hear them now? Please choose one from the following pairs. One or two, A or B, day or night, apple or orange, burnout or fade away. Okay. Interesting. So this is clearly a music thing.
Well, it's a good song, but it seemed to go on for quite a while. Like an insanely long time. So I may actually go and cut, just cut it out entirely, because yeah. I mean, it doesn't seem to do anything, though, like, but whatever. No, oh, here's the words. But yeah, I may cut that out. I don't think that it's a copyright song since, you know, I did click on the thing to remove copy or to mute copyrighted music, but it is a good song, though. Give them that. Oh, looks like we've got the cafeteria for this place. For who among us has touched the foundations of the world and deemed them solid? Okay. No, depends on what you consider the foundations of the world, right? I mean, I mean, like a literal type of foundation, like a physical thing, or like a psychological, spiritual foundation. Hi, Carla. Does it strike you as odd that Darling insists on having us appear in those bizarre videos of his? I mean, we just stand there. He doesn't even let us have lines or anything. Don't get me wrong. Beats a day in the lab. Plus, it's always great to work with you. Oh, yeah. I finished the comparative analysis of the two black rock samples you sent. The prism, or whatever you called it. I filed them in the usual place under C for Carla. A handy mnemonic, mnemonic device, right? Anyway, let me know if there's anything you want to discuss about the data. I'll gladly explain. Maybe we could chat about it over some drinks or dinner even. I can't remember the last time I had a good steak. Maybe we could go together after work sometime. I'm free tomorrow. All the very best, Hubert. All right. So Hubert clearly has a thing for Carla. Not just a radio. Yeah. And those are the two people that were awkwardly standing in that video that we watched. Good to know that even they think that it's weird, or at least Hubert does. Let's see. Oh, my. I see that we got some more growth here. I wonder if that's just where the other one leads out. Now, I see that there's a crate there, right? Crate right there. I don't see a way for me to get to it. It's possible that I might be able to jump to there with my dash. You know, I could pr I could definitely make it there. But as for making it up to there, I'm not entirely sure of. And considering that it's probably at best a mod, I'm not too worried about it. Maybe this will explain. Thresholds have always been sources of great inspiration and great challenge. When a new threshold manifests in the oldest house by redacted, we never know what new discoveries it will provide to the Bureau, but we must always seize these opportunities. This report will examine the process of distinguishing recent threshold effects based on their utilitarian possibilities. The quarry brought black rock, one of the most invaluable discoveries, but if the mold has any scientific value, it has been difficult to find due to the lengths we must go to in fighting back the particularly prolific plant. So very distinct cases and worth comparing as the study offers vastly different dangers and rewards. Okay. So thresholds are like different like worlds that got opened up, I guess. And the quarry is one of them, and then all this crap on the floor that hurts us like a motherfucker and kills us very quickly is another one. Nothing there, you know. I'd like to say that if it wasn't for that one crate that we found in one of the first stalls, that I would have given up on opening every stall door by now. But that's not the case. I know for a fact that even if up until this point we hadn't found anything in any of the bathrooms, I would still 100% look in every stall door. Just to be sure. Because, you know, I wouldn't want to... Like, also, some of these toilets move when I open the door, which is a little weird. Because I wouldn't want to find out later that, like, oh, in this one bathroom, there's this one thing that gives you, like, a billion of whatever the hell our money is. Odds are that's not a thing, but you know. Okay, then. Alright, well then, let's go to parapsychology. I really, uh, cancel the button. 
Uh, yeah, I don't know. This particular map is kind of confusing. And, wait. When the... When the hell did I get level 3 cleric? She's in trouble. I need to reach her. Okay, well it looks like we got a clear control point or something. Parakinesiology, Astro Exhibition, and Parapsychology. Well, we're supposed to be going to Parapsychology, so I'll see if I can... Okay, I guess I gotta go the other way then. Yeah, when did we get level 3 clearance? I saw that and I was like, oh man, I fucking must have missed something somewhere, but... Nope, apparently we just got it. I don't know where from, but we got it. God, where the hell's the control point for this place? Because I really need to cleanse it. Oh, why is it behind me? Hello? Ow! Fuckers! And I'm dead, because I guess when I aim, she doesn't crouch back down. <sighs> you die way too fast in this game. It, uh... Oh my fucking Christ! Are you fucking kidding me, you stupid pieces of shit? How the fuck hard is it to put decent fucking check- the hell is this? What is it? I don't even know what the fuck that means. Go to the mail room. Okay. I guess we'll do this then. Yeah, the checkpoints in this game fucking blow, man. Like, they are absolutely horrendous. Mail room is there. Can I get there faster through here or because dead letters I got to go through the communications department and everything but if I go from here I should be able to just go through the director's office. I hope. I don't know what this is, by the way. I have, I have, uh, I have no idea what these bureau alerts are. Since we're here, though, we may as well clear out, if possible, any level three doors that are here. What is this? I already picked this one up, but why is it still here? I know that I picked that one up. Do, 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 do. Mail room should be through here. Okay, let's work our way up 
get back up top here. Okay, well this is a new guy. I'm assuming he's the one giving them regeneration. Still firing explosives though. Oh, is there somebody like up higher? I see. Oh god, it's one of these guys. back up I guess I'm assuming that that FBC agent thing is uh is just like overall Are we good now? No, she is still ready for battle. Good God, why so many? I mean, the area. I like how it's like, hey, area secured, congratulations, and then they just keep throwing people out. Oh my god, they're still spawning more? Seriously, what the fuck is going on here? Fucker? Now are we good? Finally, fucking hell. That was a lot of fucking assholes, man. Like, Jesus Christ. Can't believe it fucking sends you that far back. Such fucking bullshit. Alright, so apparently we got level 3 clearance. So since we're back in the executive sector... Uh... Okay, well... First things first is we need to get back to central executive because that's where our first... One of these doors is. I was also the first time I came across the, uh... I needed to be up there, didn't I? The grenade launcher heavy instead of because uh, last time it was uh, a minigun heavy and also those weird things in the orbs that were like buffing the other enemies giving them regeneration and shit uh, 
Uh, no idea what those are though, and like we defeated them, didn't even get a get a thing for them. Apparently it's a level three door is somewhere down here. Maybe it's over here. Yeah. All right, what do we got in here? Got this radio. Just gave us a house memory. Oh, here we go. Uh, the America Overnight program has operated successfully for over redacted years. Originally designed to assist in providing disinformation to the naturally skeptical population of America, it has additionally led to the discovery of numerous AWEs and altered materials by allowing civilians to call in and report their experiences with the paranatural. In fact, America Overnight alerted the Bureau of Redacted and Redacted in its first year of operation alone. In this report, the investigation sector have cataloged and categorized each episode of America Overnight that has resulted in a successful Bureau investigation in order to help AWE occurrence analysis. The more redacted results of Night Springs have also been cataloged in a separate report. Night Springs. That's a term that we haven't heard yet. Okay, and it seems like... That's the only door here. That's level three. What about in the maintenance sector? Do we got any level threes? Nope. Five, four, five, five, and a couple of twos. Yeah, a lot of fours, a lot of fives in maintenance, man. So I guess back down to research we go. Gotta say, these key cards. They don't unlock nearly as much as I thought they would. Oh, wait, actually, while we're here. Got any more constructs I can get? Pure, say. Precise with a charged shot that penetrates armor and enemies at any range. Okay, so that's going to be the sniper, but I need more stuff. I do have Astral Blips now. I can do this so that I can get higher tier mods. It looks like there's six upgrades to this thing. And uh, since I can't really do anything else right now, I may as well, right? Entropic Echo. I'm assuming I got that in that fight that we just had. Oh, and I can do this one for the Rangers. The elevated. Still need one more discharge. Service weapon at any mode. All right. And kill enemies in the research sector. That seems good, since that's where we're going. Alright, back to research. Back to parapsychology. Oh. <sighs> and back to this nonsense. Okay. Let me guess. More fighting. No, not yet. Surprise. Just expect that now whenever you screw me over and send me backwards. Just kind of expect to. Alright, I did say that I was going to go and check that other area. Although I guess we didn't really have like a door like that. Like that was like a long hallway. Right, what the hell even killed me over here again? I think it was just enemies, right? I just got fucking lit up by the snipers or some shit.
I know you're still around. is unblocked now. Okay. Well, now that's odd. You got anything to know? Sealed area. Oh yeah, it doesn't look very good, does it? Or can I like stop it in any way? No. All right. No. Sorry, buddy. I guess you're stuck in there with whatever the fuck they were doing to you. I don't seem to have a way to. Let you out or even find out what the fuck is going on with you, so. Interesting. I'm assuming that what I'm hearing is coming through the speakers in these rooms. Seems to be another sealed door. Nice. Okay, well that's it for this room. Man, there's a lot of fucking enemies in here though, like huge amount. The astral plane. Similar to an iceberg, what you see is not what you always get. Regardless, this place is vitally important to the Bureau. Most information on the astral plane is, is classified, but we can talk in broad strokes, keeping in mind that these are staggeringly complex systems, and simplification does them no justice. Now, the white non-space, the ever-present inverted black pyramid, the board, all linked. Intrinsically tied to the oldest house, tied to the director, the process of choosing a director, tied to all objects of power in terms of who controls them. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Talking in broad stro strokes, he basically said nothing. The astral plane. It's similar to. So now we have another control point, which is good. And actually, before I go through there, because I'm not 100% how the checkpoints work, I do want to do that just to make sure that it gets. And actually, now that we hit the checkpoint, how long have we been going? 35. Yeah, we'll go a little bit further. It's my last video of the day, so. Now is this, I mean that could be where the, where we keep going to to get, when we end up in the astral plane. Hmm. Okay, well that's weird, it just seem, doesn't seem to be doing much. The Astral Exhibition was originally built for the Astronauts to use as a training location, a place to grow accustomed to the sights and sounds of the Astral Plane before diving into the real thing. Could have done a better job with it, but Redacted was being stingy with the budget. 
However, once we discovered the redacted, we decided to repurpose the space similar to how zoos hope familiar surroundings will affect the well-being of their animals. We hope to observe the redacted behavior in an environment similar to its own dimension. So far, it just breaks everything we put in with it, but Rome wasn't built in a day. New naming conventions have been established for the astral entity, now known as Astral Spike. Outdated terms in this report have been redacted. Okay. Spike, eh? Alright. Let's go see Spike then. I oh, those things. Keep that thing here. Yeah, I remember that. We've come across those. Be good, Spike. Oh god, I'm gonna have to go through there, aren't I? Alright, let's see. I'm gonna come out there. It'll be all that. That looks I'm gonna have to make it all the way across the room. Well, this thing flips out because I don't see... I mean, I see a door over there. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. myself in this side as well. Oh, I didn't want that. Appears to be something over there, but I mean, studying it, probably. Clearly, they didn't get a huge amount of information off of it, but I mean, hey. Someone answer, damn it! We need backup down here! Marshal, are you still there? Shit. We're so close. We need to hurry. Switch to spin mode all of a sudden, or whatever. Good God, are you fucking shitting me? Enough with it. I 
don't like that noise. But... Headshot on that guy. Good God, I can't get a fucking. I got him. Now, where are you, you prick? I know you're here somewhere. You're gonna keep popping your little mouth pieces until you show yourself. Not that I think you care about them in the slightest or that it matters at all, but you know. Still. See, I feel like the way that you regenerate health in this game is one of those things that seem good on paper, like as you damage the enemy, they drop health that you pick up. But then, they obviously drop health where you kill them. And this is a game where you use guns. Before using the recording devices, please ensure the following safety measures are met. Ensure the volunteer is securely fastened in the chair. Ensure the hood is placed over the volunteer's head. This will prevent the volunteer from taking in visual stimuli during the record process, which can lower the quality of captured footage. This also prevents recording technicians from viewing the volunteer's face, which undergoes muscle spasms during the recording that some consider upsetting. Check if the volunteer is comfortable. Activate the recording apparatus. After recording is complete, check volunteer cognitive ability using the provided questionnaire. Reminder, do not be alarmed if the length of recorded footage exceeds the volunteer's period of unconsciousness. Astral dilation is a known issue. If any problems arise during this process, contact your supervisor. That's more astral plane stuff then. A lot of fucking chairs in here though. Apparently they were sending multiples in at the same time. Another thing. Door that I can't open, so I still need to find the rest of the dickheads. There they are. Oh, there's a lot of them in this place. I mean, it is drawing them out. Man, I really fucked with that thing. Oh, there's Come on now, where are the rest of you? Because, yeah, I mean, hitting enemies to get your health back, it's not a unique mechanic by any means. But most games that do it, you know, have it where, like, combat or something, you know? Alright, what is the cluster? This must be that thing I was looking at. Hiss clusters are unique in that they are concentrating manifestations of Hiss resonance without the need of a host. Hiss clusters are dense spherical compressions of Hiss resonance that serve support functions in the hierarchy of Hiss entities. The clusters are capable of replenishing Hiss hosts with infusions of resonance. This does not heal any physical damage inflicted on organic hosts, but rather seems to rejuvenate them, allowing them to endure more bodily harm than normally possible. 
The fact that the Hiss make an effort to preserve its corrupted host underlines a level of awareness and discretion that was previously just speculation on my part. Can this entity be considered an individual or simply an extension of the Hiss as a whole? Capturing one alive would be quite interesting. That's an XCOM move right there. It's like, man, here's this weird glowing ball of energy. I want you to catch it. What? <laughs> Nadine, send this to research for analysis. Uh, Dr. Darling, last night I had a dream. In the dream, I was given the solution to a staffing problem I'd been presented with just yesterday. The problem is of a confidential nature and must therefore remain unclarified here, but I can assure you that the method through which I received this helpful information was undeniably paranatural. I can only draw the conclusion that I was that I possess exceptional precognitive abilities and, as such, offer my services to the Bureau's research teams. We must utilize my powers for the greater good. I had a dream. A dream I was given a solution to a staffing problem I'd been presented with just yesterday. So you're given a staffing problem, and then when you went to bed that night, you had a dream about the solution to said problem. That doesn't... Now, if you had the solution... Now, if you had the dream before you were given the problem, then maybe I could give it to you at least somewhat, but uh, the fact that you got the problem before you had the dream just kind of leads me to believe that as you were sleeping, you walked through it. I mean, it happens quite regularly, actually, you know? People can't figure out a problem or something, and then, you know, they wake up in the morning, they're like, I got it. Capital audience, eh? Investigate the X-ray light box object of power. Uh, this report serves as an introductory guide to the Astral Knot program, including candidate requirements, training practices, and astral research procedures. Astral Knots are chosen individuals who explore and document the astral plane by making physical contact with the X-ray light box. Uh, in the Hypnosis Lab, a section of the Parapsychology Division. Physical and psychological training is vital for the repeated transition between planes, known as dives. After each dive, astronauts must undergo a redacted session in the cognitive recording chairs to record their experience in the plane. Gathered data has conclusively proven that redacted within the astral plane very wide, widely between astronauts. On rare occasions, these dives can result in losses, often occurring when teams encounter aggressive astral entities. Group think, eh? The study extends the works of Irving Janus, Robert Barron, and others by proposing strong causal links between groupthink and the passive or active use of telepathy. To prove these connections, the parapsychology department carried out various variations of Solomon Osh's original conformity experiments using telepathic individual as a subject. See experiments redacted for details. Extensive qualitative and quantitative data resulting from these experiments was then used to identify telepathic interference within the group. Further empirical findings suggest measures can be taken to safeguard against telepathic influence on behaviors by engaging in redacted. Rather boldly, this paper stands to revolutionize decades of groupthink theory and provide new direction for further experimentation on the mind, including manipulation of redacted and redacted. Okay. Also, was I just targeting something like... Yeah, I, I can target stuff in the cupboards. That's neat. Alright, let's cleanse this control point, and I think that'll be the end of the part. if I want to do this. Alright, let's see. Where's the... the thing is back there, eh? Like, over there? Through that door, I guess? But we should probably go and rescue her first. Although, the hypnosis lab odds are that would give us another power, which would technically make it easier to help her, but, you know... We got the node right there, so I'm gonna... I don't know, maybe I should go and do the hiss node thing. But not right now. I 
because it's uh, time to go. So that'll be it for this part. Thanks everybody for watching and I will see you next week for more.